Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Mosaic Football Hobby Box, six boxes, half case, pick your team number five. Remember six sold out after five, so five ends up being the second half of the case. All card ship, and this is a wax party promo break, so we'll run that randomizer at the end. Big thanks to this group for making this happen. On Tuesday the 18th, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. And I think it ended up being, there you go, James with the last spot mojo, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, so remember in the previous break, I marked all of this, pick your team five, so we know it's all from the same case. And let's go. All right, all right, all right. Good luck, everybody. Ed's in this one. Looking for some Trey Lances. Anyone else in this break watching live? All right, looks like the autograph's going to pop early here. And behind Jalen Ragor is Quiddy Pay. Rookie autographs for the Colts. Adam with the Colts won that spot in the filler. Nice. James is here. Yeah, he got the, he got the Buccaneers a little while ago. For last spot mojo. Rick's here with the Dolphins. Is Jose's here too? What team do you, what, what team do we have here? Did you guys get a team? You got Greg Rousseau, 48 out of 49 for the Bills. Lou with Buffalo. All right, there's NFL debut Trey Lance. Maybe we can find some, uh, maybe we can find some, uh, whatchamacallit, more parallels of him. Mac Jones goes to the Patriots, by the way, Nico. FSU, you do not have the Buccaneers in this one. James does. There's 34 out of 49. Justin Fields. Another Justin Fields. Oh, you're in the wrong break then. The bandits are not in this break. Oh, 
There's Kevin Bird for the Titans. That'll be for Ryan Heinz. You must be confusing us with the other guys. And a blue Justin Fields, 18 out of 99. Stephen Flat with the Bears won that spot in the filler. No, this is not USFL flawless. Sorry. Yeah, you must be confusing us with alternate universe Chaspies where that exists. NFL debut, Zach Wilson for Adam. Let's try to find some more color for Zach Wilson, too. Maybe some ink. Oh, those are two autographs right there. Kevin Bird and Quiddy Pay. All right, box one, done. Next box. If you click the break schedule, ladies and gentlemen, I've made some early picks for this weekend's games. And then now I'll monitor the line this week and see uh, see if I was on the right side of the number or the wrong side of the number. I end up on the wrong side of the number a lot. But my early picks. Cincinnati at Tennessee, taking Tennessee, minus three and a half. I may fire on them again if uh, if that number drops to minus three or even minus two and a half for some reason. I'm going with the uh, Road Dogs, San Francisco, plus five and a half at Green Bay. I feel like if they could, got a pretty good defense, if they can control the... Uh, the game a little bit with their running game. Which I think sometimes Green Bay can be a little shaky on the running game. San Francisco has a pretty good running game. Good coaching too. So if they can figure that out, they might keep it close. That plus five and a half might be good. If that if that goes to plus six, maybe I'll go plus six too. I'm gonna fire again there. On Sunday, Sunday's games, I got Rams. At Buccaneers, taking the Buccaneers minus three. And I'm taking another road dog, Buffalo, plus two and a half at Kansas City. Yeah, this guy just needs to not make mistakes. That'll help me out. There's Gary Brightwell, New York football Giants. Nico with the Giants. Got the Giants in the filler. Elijah Mitchell's been pretty good, too. And that is uh, Edward with the Niners. So when's the Jaspies NFTs dropping? I'm glad you asked that, Jose, because you can join the Hits app that I just dropped into the chat. You can download that to your mobile device. We've been working with them to do that very thing, along with other breakers. But we're the best ones. <laughs> no, there's a lot of good breakers on there. So it's basically like uh, that that app, which uh, Sports Card Investor has been been working on with. Here's our first Trevor Lawrence base card. It's a TikTok for uh, for some of the the greatest hits of Breakers past, or just hits in general. Some great, some okay, some awesome, some average, some good. There's Brandon Ayuk, blue, 35 out of 99. So for now, it's just a it's just a highlights app for now. But I think one of their ideas early on, as some of you may remember when they launched that, we we were on a little panel on their live stream. 
But I think they're there is they're messing around with the idea of making some of those possible NFTs. Yeah, Justin, yeah, it would be possible to eventually get a Teddy NFT. That'd be pretty great. Um, Teddy has a lot of tats. We, we've been trying to, trying to see if we could sell Teddy's body as an entire piece of art. And you could buy sections of, you can buy like, you can get an NFT of Teddy's arm or something like that. We're going to figure that out. <laughs> There's Joe Montana, 19 out of 25. Men of mastery for Edward and the Niners. And we've got uh, Killen Granson. Rookie autograph for the Blue Horseshoes, Adam. With the Colts. Like, Exo I don't know what Exodia is, but, but maybe we'll have to look into that. Trey Lance, blue chips insert. There's Aaron Rodgers. 25 out of 49. Yu-Gi-Oh reference, that's nerd stuff. That's nerd stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm into non-nerd stuff like Pokemon. That's that's not nerd. That's serious business, Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm into cool high-level stuff like like Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh's for babies. Cool stuff. Cool stuff like Pokemon. Yu Gi Oh's for nerds. FSU saying, Joe, I bet you still have a Tamagotchi. Man, I haven't thought about a Tamagotchi in ages. No, I don't have one. Have I ever had one? I don't know if I ever had one. Aren't those Tamagotchis, are, are they, aren't they making a comeback or something like it is making? I feel like I read something where there's like a popular early 2000s like Tamagotchi style game, maybe with cats. And they had cats and maybe there's a, a, a crypto coin associated with this game. Know, something like that. Or maybe it's a different game. Maybe it's like you hatch dragons or something. I don't know. You hatch something. No, I did not have did not have a Furby. I actually. Ooh, here's a honeycomb, Bobby Wagner. Nice. These are cool looking parallels. Very short printed as well, unless it's a honeycomb hot box. 
like Jason Jaspi got over the weekend. Bobby Wagner for the Seahawks. Patrick Evans with the Hawks of the Sea. And we got a montage insert. Josh Allen, 33 out of 49, purple. Oh, sorry, points. We'll give those away. To one person, the break winner take all on the points. That usually takes the place of a autograph. Snuck up on me there. And we've got a Trey Nixon, 24 out of 49 for the... For Nico and the Patriots. And a red rookie, Trey Lance. Nice. Edward with the Niners. A little color match there. I like that. Yeah, Rebel, that box was pretty crazy. I, I was pretty stunned when I watched that video. Has anyone ever seen that before? I'm wondering if... <laughs> I guess I'm wondering if that was a mistake or if they do have honeycomb hot boxes out there in the world. Stephen Flat with the Jags. And behind Michael Thomas is Cam Chancellor. A Bobby Wagner and a Cam Chancellor autograph. Patrick Evans, Seahawks. <laughs> Rebel feels like it was almost like as if they had some honeycombs left over and they're like, dang, we've got one more box left. We only have a box left. we got to shove them all in there. Nine honeycombs, Oliver's saying. Yeah, it's a lot. That's the first one I've seen, like, myself, live. It's Justin Fields for the Bears, Stephen Flat. Mar Chase, possible offensive rookie of the year. Got a blue Gary Brightwell, 50 out of 99, and there's Patrick Mahomes. Could it be another another Super Bowl for Patrick Mahomes? Another Super Bowl appearance at least. Brightwell goes to uh, Nico in the Giants. Andre Swift. Who do I think should win the the MVP in football? I mean, I have a feeling that I have. A, I mean, it seems like Aaron Rodgers is leading the way on that. Don't you think? Maybe if Jonathan Taylor finished the season a little bit stronger. Uh, we're halfway through this break. Three boxes in, three more to go. Yeah, Oliver thinks Rodgers. Yeah, he's had a pretty good season. I can't really think of anyone right off the top of my head after Rodgers who would be close. Like I said, I think Jonathan Taylor running back for the uh, Colts might have had a chance, was on his way. I guess Brady's had a solid season, but nothing super crazy. Yeah, you would think Mahomes would have been a contender if he start, started off the season a little bit, a little bit hotter. Brady would be too, right? But I still think, just even without just looking at the stats, I feel like, I feel like Rodgers is ahead.
Is there anyone else in the anyone else in that conversation? Does Josh Allen get a little get get some mentions? I don't think Josh Allen's gonna win it, but does he get some get does he get some attention? Alright, next box. Greg Newsom, the second. Cleveland, this is for you. Mark Miller. Ooh, and a silver Zach Wilson. That's pretty cool. We have been looking for some more, more parallels of him. Zach Wilson, NFL debut insert, going to Adam and his Jets. Yeah, maybe TJ Watt should maybe get, get some attention, but yeah, seems like defensive players rarely get into the conversation on rookie of, or rookie of the year, on, on MVP unless unless all the offensive players had a terrible year. We got Kurt Warner, it's eighty six out of ninety. Anyone see when's that Kurt Warner movie coming out? Is it out already? Last month? Is it any good? You haven't seen it? But you haven't seen it? Anyone want to watch that Kurt Warner movie? I think Brady's got maybe another couple of years under contract with the with the Bucks. Joe Montana is 11 out of 25. Does Brady surprise retire? May, I mean, it's possible. If he wins a Super Bowl this year, I mean, I could see it happening. There's Kina and Wangwu for the Vikings, Patrick Davis. That's crazy. Who has? Who is the? Who was the oldest? I have no idea who the oldest NFL player was. Is he surely must be one of the oldest NFL like starter starting quarterbacks, like who's played entire season. I think there's been maybe some older quarterbacks who have made a spot start here and there, but. But he certainly has to be one of the older, regular starting quarterbacks. Here's Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I guess a kicker would probably be, probably the ones that could be the oldest. There's Ben Skoronek, 46 out of 49. It's a, maybe a possible, possible touchdown prop guy. It's for the Rams. That'll be for Ford. Maybe. Oliver's thinking Jan Stenerud. He might have been around for a while. George Blanda, Pets is thinking. Another NFL debut card, this time Mosaic parallel for Adam and the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Yeah, Morton Anderson, kicker Morton Anderson was pretty old too. Yeah, I mean, I think Brady is just kind of, kind of playing it by ear. It's like if he's feeling good, you know, once the season ends, I think he's just gonna go and keep playing. I think if he's not, just if his heart's not into it, he's just not gonna do it. Oh, both Oliver and Rex looked it up. 
Add a Vinatieri. Vinatieri retired at 48. Pets also looked it up saying it's Blanda. Blanda's 48 as well. Those might be the the old guys. And Brady's how old now? 44? I know, right, Rex? All, all over, all over, uh, and uh, Rex's Google search making Adam Vinatieri trend on Twitter or on uh, on Google. Why is Adam Vinatieri trending? All right, and Justin saying Vinatieri and Blanda both retired at forty-eight, so those are those are the two oldest guys. Chase Claypool, 52 out of 99 for the Steelers. That'll be for Patrick. Base Zach Wilson. In it to win it, Aaron Rodgers, not numbered. Yeah, Mason Crosby's got to be up there, too. Gordy Howe played until his 52? I think Brady's trying to hit that 50 mark, right? That's what he seems to be considering. But I don't know. I, I, Rex, I don't, I don't know if Brady strikes me as a guy. He doesn't strike me as a guy that wants to... that wants to really set a record, per se. In terms of oldest athlete or whatever, I think he's just like, hey, as long as I have a chance to win championships, I'm going to keep doing it. There's Trayvon Moore, rookie autograph for my Raiders. That goes to Evan, who won the Raiders in the filler. I think he made the made one of those all rookie teams. He had a pretty solid season actually. Raiders definitely need the help. And that's secondary, so he's he's going to be part of that, I hope, for years to come. There's NFL debut, Trey Lance for Ed and the Niners. And Demarcus Lawrence, 25 out of 49. Cowboys have to go back to the drawing board, see what they can do to, to go a little deeper in the playoffs. That one is for Terry and the Cowboys. I think what's his situation? I think he's. I think he was moving extreme. He has scary neck injury, last game. But I think he's, kind of being checked out at the hospital. I think he's able to move his extremities. So. Let's see. Let's see how he does. I think he's back in Arizona though. More Trevor Lawrence. Can you imagine Stephen Flats like Brady's gonna back up Mahomes in a few years and just add a couple more rings? Would that be the same? Now I don't know if that'd feel the same. What if Tom Brady just knocks out, knocks out like four more Super Bowls because he's because he ends up being a. Uh, he ends up being Patrick Mahomes' backup. I'll be like, yeah, he does have 12 rings, but... <laughs> There's Stephon Diggs. Lou. It's to 49. 
And he got Patrick Sertain, rookie autographs for my rivals, the Denver Broncos. I think he had a pretty good season too. Nick with Denver. Or just like that, last box coming up. There are reports of the guy that hit him saying he was glad he hit him or something like that? Jeez. I hope that's not true. <laughs> Oliver was at the game on the other side of the field and heard the hit from your seat. Oh. All right, since this is a wax party break, here's what I'm going to do with the points. Top two names will get the, the wax party spots, obviously, and the third one name down will get the points. Winner take all the points in case there's any more. Final box, pick a team five, good luck. Jim Kelly, 88 out of 99, center stage insert, Trevor Lawrence, NFL debut. Another Trevor Lawrence card going to Seaton Flat and the Jaguars. Jim Kelly goes to Lou and the Bills. The autograph behind Charles Woodson is Elijah Meldon. Rookie autograph for the Tennessee Titans. Tighten up. Ryan Heinz with Tennessee. Is Caleb Farley, 25 out of 99. Another Titan for Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, go for it. to win it, Jordy Nelson. Next stack. Another Trevor Lawrence here for the Jaguar, Stephen Flat. No, that wasn't a Tom Brady rookie. I think they have, they, they did this whole Tom Brady insert set. So he's got a bunch of NFC cards. Then he has a bunch of AFC cards, MVP cards. And here's another Patrick Sertain. You know, AFC Super Bowl cards. A lot of Brady's.
program. They take that kind of winning attitude, and they're just guys that you want on your team. And who is the best player? Um, the packs that Nick are, Nick's working on right now are for Instagram tomorrow, at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. So follow us there and join us tomorrow. I think they're for tomorrow. There's uh, Billy Sims, 90 out of 99 for Detroit. That'll be for Riley. Some Damian Harris overdrive. So here's Brady, Super Bowl MVP's card. Mac Jones. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. All right. So let's do the randomizer. Like I said, top two. And the third name will get the 600 points. Top two gets the wax party spots. So let's gather all the names. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a three. Six the hard way. So top two will get the wax party spot. Try to win some boxes. Or you are going to win some boxes. It's two TBD on what you're going to get. So you're automatic winners. And the third name will get the 600 points after six. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time after six so from four on down sorry Adam not even a consolation points prize I appreciate you getting in third name consolation prize points seem flat top two wax party happy times for Evan and James wow James last spot mojo bought the Buccaneers I don't know maybe days ago Gets rewarded with the uh, wax party spot. And Evan, with a spot that he won in the filler, gets a wax party spot. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.